I had been half afraid to go to Verona, lest it should at all put me out of conceit with Romeo and Juliet. But I was no sooner come into the old marketplace than the misgiving vanished. It is so fanciful, quaint and picturesque a place, formed by such an extraordinary and rich variety of fantastic buildings, that there could be nothing better at the core of even this romantic town. With its fast rushing river, picturesque old bridge, great castle, waving cypresses, and prospect so delightful and so cheerful. Thus wrote Charles Dickens when he visited Verona in 1846. The Adige River rises in the Alps and flows south through the Lassen Mountains and the Valpolicella Hills then bends gently southeast toward the Soave Valley. In the Paleolithic, this was the hunting ground for primeval tribes that left several relics in the form of carved rocks and painted stones. The great Italian poet Dante visited the Lesson Mountain Caves in the early 14th century and was inspired to write about the Gate of Hell bearing the famous inscription Abandon all hope, you who enter here. The Bronze Age saw the development of farming, viticulture and winemaking in this fertile crescent. When the ancient Romans conquered northern Italy in the 3rd century BCE, they decided to found a city at the foot of the hills, which would serve as their northern capital. They called it Verona and surrounded it with thick defensive walls. They also built a Colosseum-like arena, which is still in use today for open-air plays and concerts. Verona was the birthplace of Catullus and the favorite vacation spot for his contemporary Roman general Julius Caesar. Catullus was born to a leading equestrian family in the first century BC. Horse husbandry has long been a thriving industry in the suburban areas of Verona, which still hosts an important horse fair to this day. From the 5th to the 13th centuries, Verona was conquered by the Ostrogoths, the Lombards, and a long succession of various kings and warlords until it was finally taken over by the Scaliger or Scala family who ruled it from 1262 to 1387. The name Scala means ladder and consequently a ladder has been for centuries the symbol of Verona. Under the rule of Con Grande I, who was a patron of Dante, Petrarch and Giotto, the city experienced a few decades of order and progress. However, by the end of the 14th century, blood feuds and vendettas had plunged Verona into chaos, so the city was conquered by the Venetians in 1405. A number of mystics took to the hills and mountains surrounding Verona and founded several sanctuaries the largest of which, called Madonna of the Crown, is located about 40 kilometers north of the city proper. One of the most influential personalities of 15th century Verona was Isotta Nogarola, the first major feminist of the Italian Renaissance. She sparked a long debate on gender through her seminal work called The Sin of Adam and Eve. A contemporary of Nogarola, the polymath Girolamo Fracastoro, studied the origin of epidemic diseases as well as the abundant fossils he found beneath and around the city. In the 15th century, Verona was home to a successful art school run by Liberale, famous for his allegory of chastity and a scene from a novella. His best pupil, Giovanni Carotto, made extraordinary portraits, 
such as the one of a child with a drawing. Carotto in turn trained prominent painter Paolo Veronese, known for extremely large history paintings, including the wedding at Cana and the feast in the house of Levi. The heart of Verona centers around the Square of the Herbs and the Square of the Lords, which boasts several statues, including one of Dante. Two puzzling objects also adorn the neighborhood, a fetter attached to a stone booth and a dinosaur bone or whale rib hanging from a lofty arch. Two of William Shakespeare's plays are set in Verona, Romeo and Juliet and The Two Gentlemen of Verona. Italian historian Luigi de Porto had originally written the tale of Romeo and Juliet in 1524 based on historical events of the 12th century. The story was translated into English by Arthur Brooke in 1562 and William Painter in 1567, and finally dramatized and published by Shakespeare in 1597. Verona was occupied by Napoleon in 1797, and the city was alternately controlled by the French and Austrians. In 1822, the representatives of Austria, France, Prussia, Russia and the United Kingdom met in Verona to define the political scenario of Western Europe. The city was annexed by the Kingdom of Italy in 1866. The 19th century saw the flourishing of literature in the city. Cesare Lombroso wrote about the link between physiognomy and criminality, genius and madness. Another Verona native, Emilio Salgari, is regarded as the father of Italian adventure fiction and comic culture, including the spaghetti western genre. An important congress was held in Verona in 1943, which dealt with the transformation of Italian fascism into a republican movement. Let me wrap up this video now with one of Shakespeare's best quotes. There is no world without Verona walls, but purgatory, torture, hell itself. Hence, banished is banished from the world, and world's exile is death. <laughs>